Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here doing a video showing how to root your Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This will be the uh, easiest method to root at the moment. Do you want to make a quick note that this will trip your Knox counter, so it may void your warranty, so kind of keep that in mind. Uh, this will work for all variants that are available at the moment. As of this video, um, international variants uh, are available along with the T-Mobile variant. So this will work on all of those. Um, I will update the article that I do write in the description for all compatible devices and the download list will be updated accordingly. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind if you want to check to see if your device works. Hopefully uh, this will work on Sprint uh, AT&T. I don't know about Verizon. Verizon might have a locked bootloader. So may AT&T. We'll see what happens uh, when they get released. Anyways, continuing on. First of all, all you're going to have to do is um, you, you don't need to worry about uh, any device getting erased, but I do recommend backing up anything you do have in your device just in case. Uh, but that's about it. Now all you need to do is go ahead and go to your computer and download a specific file. So click on the download link in the description. The download link will look something similar to this. Huge shout out to Chainfire for putting this together as he does with a lot of Samsung devices. So be sure to thank him. Um, download links are gonna look like this. Make sure you download the correct variant. I have the T-Mobile variant. So I'm gonna click this link. If, let's say for example, you have the International Qualcomm variant, click this down the link and download this file. So make sure it's very important that you download the correct file. So find your, your device and download the specific file that you need to. So I have this one downloaded. Once you have uh, the file downloaded, go ahead and go to your desktop. And once you're on your desktop, I want you to go ahead and right click and create a new folder. So just highlight new and hit folder. And I recommend calling it note for root. Whatever you, you can call it whatever you want. That's just what I recommend calling it. No for root. So you'll see I have it right there. Um, now go ahead and go into your downloads folder where you actually downloaded that specific file that I just told you to. It'll be a zip file like so. So you'll see make sure you download the specific file, the correct file. Double click on it and select all of the files inside that zip file and then just click and drag it into that folder that's on your desktop. Uh, very simple. Now double click on that folder and inside you will see a bunch of files, the files you just extracted. Uh, you'll want to right click on this Odin file and run it as administrator. Go ahead and hit yes, allow user account uh, control and this will open an application called Odin. It's going to look just like this. Now once Odin's opened up, all you have to do is press this PDA button right here and navigate to that note for root folder once more that we have on our desktop and find this MD5 file right here. Um, and double click on it, this tar file, this MD5 file, and throw it into that PDA box. Once you've done that, that's all we need to do. You are ready to go. So um, well, let's go ahead and go back to our phone now. Now on your Note 4, just go ahead and power it on off. Turn it off and we're going to need to get into something called download mode on the device. Okay, to get into download mode once your device is fully powered off, you need to press and hold volume down, the power button, and the home button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them, just keep it held down, and it should take us to this screen. Warning, a custom OS. Like I said, this will trip Knox counter, this may void your warranty. Keep that in mind. Um, I'm gonna press volume up to continue. This gets us into download mode. Once we're in download mode, we can go ahead and plug our device into our computer. Once we've done that, we can actually go to our screen now. And once you plug in your device, you should see a blue box that says COM and then a number. Doesn't matter what the number is, but you should see a blue box pop up that lets us know that Odin recognizes the device. Again, double check that you have the correct TAR MD5 file in that PDA slot and we're ready to go. So all you have to do is go ahead and press the start button in Odin. It's not going to take long at all to flash. Uh, you'll see a progress bar in Odin and on your device as well. So let it uh, go ahead and run through. Like I said, this trips Knox once again, and then it should automatically reboot your device, I believe, into a recovery that's going to root the phone. So there we go. So there we go, the Chainfire's, uh, I guess, custom recovery. And it says rebooting in 10 seconds, so it'll automatically reboot your phone once this is done rooting as well. And there we go. So the device is now booting up. I'm going to go ahead and let it boot up. Uh, it should take a normal amount of time, uh, maybe a little bit longer than usual, but once it boots up, I will show you guys that I am now rooted. All right, my device has powered on now. Once it's powered on, you don't need it plugged in anymore. You can actually just unplug it. Not a big deal. And you'll see a notification right here. It says Super SU Binary needs to be updated. So tap on that, uh, hit continue, and uh, if you have custom recovery, we don't. I'm going to hit normal. 
and then hopefully it's going to update the Super SU binary for us. It'll do it automatically. If that notification doesn't pop up, just go to your app drawer and you'll see an app called Super SU now. Um, then you can go ahead and go into that app and it should prompt you to update your uh, Super SU binary. All right, so it's a Samsung Knox has been detected. This might limit root capabilities. Try to disable Knox. I'm gonna hit OK. I really don't need Knox on my device, so I have no trouble disabling it at all. All right, so it's sat on this screen for a while. Maybe it's just uh, not able to disable Knox, but let's go ahead and make sure we are actually rooted. Now to check and make sure, I have an app installed called the Root Checker. I'm gonna hit Agree and hit OK. And I'm just gonna hit Verify Root. So tap this button right here and you need to grant it super user permissions, but this screen lets you know you are now rooted, and congratulations, this device has root access. You're done, there you have it. Your uh, Note 4 is now fully rooted. You'll see in your app drawer, you do have the Super SU application right here, so we can go to that. And like I said, it was running a little bit slow earlier. Uh, a reboot might fix that, so you might wanna re reboot your device if that happens, but yeah, you are now fully rooted, Galaxy Note 4. Day one it came out, actually, so got it rooted right away. I'll compile and upload this video. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.